What's up guys? Today we're going to talk about the Toro 60 volt string trimmer. So I picked this trimmer up last year. I, I had a weed eater go out. I used to use the Ryobi brand. Um, it lasted me a year or so. It was alright. It wasn't, you know, high quality. Very durable for m more of a, I don't know, residential slash commercial use. Um, didn't really use it commercial but I did do a lot more lawn care than, you know, a typical homeowner would. So it, it kind of crapped out on me. I looked around, decided on this model. Um, really like it. I mean, it's a little bit heavier. It comes with a 2.5 amp hour battery, um, standard. It's got the aluminum shaft and it's got the upgraded head. So you can adjust this thing to either spin on a 14 inch line or a 16 inch line. I used the 16 inch line, used this last season, loved it. It's also got the auto feed system so you don't have to mess with taking the head off. You shove the string through one side, shove it out and then twist it up and it feeds. Haven't had any issues with this. I've seen some people have some problems with this. I mean, if you follow the instructions, I haven't had personally any issues. I love the feature. It's a lot nicer than taking the head off and, and trying to wind string around and shoving it back in. Another nice feature of this is the variable speed. You got your safety switch here. And basically, however fast you push this, you go low setting, high setting, and anywhere in between variably. So if you're not in real tough, you know, tall grass and you want to conserve battery a little bit, go with the low speed. If you're in really thick grass, high speed. Also includes this battery charger for the battery it is wall mountable and I that's what I did I mounted it to my wall interestingly enough on the new new stuff I got the blower and the edger this year they made the battery charger way smaller it's the exact same charger according to Toro both will hold any of the 60 volt batteries I personally prefer this one a lot better I do like that this mounts to the wall but this one's great I can just throw it in a drawer when I'm not using it. Either or, they both charge it, both work, but I do like the redesign on the new products this year. Now this trimmer will take the 0 .80 or the 0.95, that's one of the reasons why I bought it. It will take the uh, more higher diameter, more durable stuff. I do buy the twisted string line, commercial grade off Amazon. I can link this below. I really love the braided stuff. It doesn't matter what brand you get, but I've noticed that the braided stuff will give you a much cleaner cut on the grass, which in turn leads that your grass will stay healthier and not open it up to potential disease or, or other issues, um, which saves you time in applying you know, future fungicides or other treatments down the road. So overall, I really like the Toro trimmer. Uh, it's kind of what got me into the 60 volt electric line of Toro. Um, I used it all last season, had no issues with it, really enjoyed it. It's a very durable trimmer, did a real good job for me. Uh, did, like I said, I picked it up at the Home Depot. It's the same price this year, it looks like. Linked it down below. Check it out, and you can also get it at ToroAuthorizedDealer.com uh, or any local de dealer as well. So if you like this video, hit the subscribe button. I'll keep more uh, of these types of videos coming until we get into the spring season. Uh, when we can get out in the lawn and start talking about the good stuff, uh, lawn care and tech tips and techniques. Until then, like I said, hit that subscribe button, give it a thumbs up, and I'll see you next time.